watching the 2019 BYU Football Media Day web chats. I'm Lauren McLean. This is Jason Shepard. And we have the honor of being in the presence of A.J. Stewart and Harvey Unga, both coaching the running backs. Guys, how are you? Great. How's your morning going so far? It's going well. Is this is this early for you, or, or you guys you're up and ready? You're he's got a, he's got a little one just like you. That's yeah. true. Oh yeah, we don't sleep. We already got a workout in, so we're good. <laughs> oh gosh, don't rub it in. <laughs> Hot yoga. <laughs> Hot yoga. <laughs> with uh, what's, what's the one they do with with uh, goats? Isn't there a goat, goat yoga? It's called goat yoga. Yeah. It's like a I legit see, thing. I could see yeah. Harvey doing that actually. I, could too. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't understand it, but it is a thing. I'll try that. I don't know. All right, AJ, let's get right into it. So you mentioned that in the fall, there's going to be a big competition mm -hmm. amongst the running backs. From what you know of the group, how do you feel like they're going to handle that competition? I think they're going to take it head on. The guys are working really hard. They're working harder than, than ever right now. And uh, top to bottom, everybody's doing, doing what they have to do to get themselves the best chance in the competition. And so um, it's going to be fun to watch and uh, see those guys get a little bit better every single day and, and just prepare to to be uh, ready when their numbers call this season. Yeah, because you, you added a couple new guys, the transfers. How are those guys uh, fitting in so far? They're doing well. They're, they're working really hard. They're, they're getting extra work in every day. They're gathering up the crew, and, and everybody's going out and, and, and doing a little bit extra every single day. And um, They're just maximizing this opportunity in off season to, you know, uh, utilize their time and, and, and invest time into getting better and, and preparing for the season. So I'm ex extremely excited about really our whole group top to bottom. That's awesome. Well, Harvey, speaking of the, the entire group, I mean, you know, AJ was talking about the addition of some of these guys. That you have new guys coming in. The overall talent has increased. The depth has increased. How do you view this group as a whole right now? I mean, AJ's done a phenomenal job grabbing, you know, the, the grad transfers. And with that, it just he, he's brought pretty much the whole package. We've got backs that can run routes, catch the ball out of the backfield. They can block. Um, we've got backs that are downhill punishers, um, but at the same time, guys that, you know, have the ability to make guys miss in a small space. So it's, I mean, hats off to AJ for, you know, picking up these guys and, and building this, this running back crew because it's, it's, I think it's a special group. AJ, what kind of resource is Harvey having him on the staff with you, helping you out with these guys? It's incredible. I mean, having a guy who's been here, literally here at BYU and done it at, at that high of a level, um, it, it, it helps in recruiting for one, but it also helps just those guys, the things that they're uncomfortable with me at times uh, coming to me about uh, just his personality and his uh, understanding of the game. They'll come to him and, and ask him those in-between questions. And, and then whenever I'm not here, he's an extension of me, and, and th those guys are confident in, in his coaching. And so it's just a tremendous asset and resource and just grateful to have him um, not only as a as to help me with the running backs, but just as a friend and, and as a mentor as well, you know, in certain aspects of life. That's awesome. You know, this will be for, later, bro. <laughs> <laughs> for, for both of you guys. Certainly social media has kind of changed the game in a lot of ways. Some some say for the good, some say for the bad. But you guys are on social media. You guys do a lot with that. How much does that play into recruiting, things like that? How much of a part is the social media aspect of things these days? I think it's, an, I think it's a huge part of it. I think the, the two things, I mean, you're very accessible to recruits for one, but I think it gives them opportunity to, to kind of know you as a, as a person outside of coaching and in between. I, I think I've, I've tried to do a little bit more of that recently and just, um, you know, still being professional, but kind of showing them that, hey, you know, you come here, you're playing for just a man who's trying to figure out life um, and trying to live his life, you know, uh, for God and, and just having fun coaching football. And so I think it, it just allows you to kind of to, to sell your brand as far as the, uh, the school, but also sell your brand as, as a person and, and as a coach and, and what they can look forward to if, if they, you know, choose to, to come play for us here at BYU. Hey, I'm motivated by your tweets. Both of you guys, I'm like, <laughs> on Twitter, I'm like, uh-huh. Like, like, like. <laughs> I love it. You're welcome. Hey, this is super random. But what does AJ stand for? Anthony Jr. Anthony Jr.? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't have a middle name, so it's Anthony, Anthony Jr. Stewart Jr. Yep. Oh, so have like you it. always been AJ then? Yeah, Ever always. since you were little? Well, my, my first day at kindergarten, we had another Anthony in class, and it was confusing. And then from then on, we just I went by AJ my whole life. And so my family's always called me that, but I tried to do the Anthony thing, uh, kindergarten, but it, it, we <laughs> it had two, out. two Anthonys, and so we just we went with AJ. And no, Tonys. no Tonys? Never Tony? No, never Tony. This is how well I know Harvey. I know that his name means warrior. 
Am I right? Yes. It's because he wanted me to name my son Harvey. I don't know what you're talking he's like, about. He's like, listen, let me pitch this to you. It means warrior and That's it's cool. a great name though. Are you a little upset that she did not take your advice and go with Harvey? <laughs> you know, I... <sighs> I can't hold it against her. But Cash is a beautiful I mean, name. I like Cash. It is. That's a great it's name. It's amazing. But I got to imagine, you had your heart set on Harvey. I really was. I, I just, <laughs> it is what it is. I'm sure Lauren will have a few more children, so <laughs> there's still a chance. There's always another. There's always another chance. Like we know you guys like to hoop it up. Yeah. And I've heard, I've heard stories about both of you, how good of basketball players you are. Oh. So here's the big question. One on one, who wins? Um, how many times will we play? <laughs> Best one, of three. One, oh, okay, best of three. It, could, it just depends on the day. I, th I think it could go either way. But if he played up to his potential, there's he, he would beat me. He could beat me. He's, he's a better athlete. He's being kind. The last time we played, I'm trying to think, was it one-on-one -on -one or two-on-two? Two-on-two. Two? Oh, it was two-on-two. Two. Never mind. They got AJ, AJ beat us two-on-two. Two. AJ likes to start some fights. I wouldn't say playing. fights. I'm just a little bit competitive. Say that. <laughs> um, he starts never, my finish nothing, him. Nothing physical. Just, uh, you know, just yeah, a little trash little, talk. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I mean, Harvey and I actually played together I actually, at one yeah. point. We played against, it was Manasseh Tonga and Brandon, Brandon Bradley. Bradley. And we won. Yeah, okay. So, I'm not, I mean, I was pregnant, so I'm just kinda, throwing that out there. We it still. feels a little awkward. I mean, AJ and I are, like, we're great teammates, but... I feel like my teammate over there. It's a little weird sitting over here on this bench, but <laughs> let's let's bring back Harnlar. Because of the har har Do you want to sit? Do you want to sit over here? We can have Harnlar. I mean, I don't want to be too high maintenance or anything, <laughs> but you, I would like if you want to. My one. teammate, let's I'm just saying. Switch. Let's switch. All right. Switch. Let's switch. Okay. Let's switch. <laughs> here we go. Okay. All right. This just feels more natural. Right? This actually yeah, does. does make a lot of sense. Har and Lar. Har and Lar. See, AJ and I, we're both from Missouri. We're both St. Louis Cardinals fans. Yep. So, like, we share quite a bit. All right. You know what? Let's actually. So, this actually makes sense. Let's see who knows more about each other. Me and Harvey or you and AJ? Oh. Let's see if we can do that. Okay. Let's see if we can do that. Here okay. you go. You two have those. Someone could bring me those okay. over there. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm not marker. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. I love that we get to use the, the whiteboards now. This is fun. Oh. Here you go. This me? Yep. Okay. You guys have markers? Yes. Here we go. Wait, I'm answering for you. Yeah, for me, and I'm for you. Oh. Yeah, so we have to, so, yeah. I thought I was going to answer So it's basically you. which, which pair knows each other instinct. better. Okay. Yeah. Har and Lar. Or, so you guys have a name, Har and Lar. Yeah, yeah. what's AJ. Yours? I'll play off Jason. We'll go AJ and J.A. How about that? Okay. Okay, can we do that? It, okay. AJ, right. are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you okay? We gotta have All a name. Right, if they go. have a name, we have a have a name. I respect that. Okay, the first question is uh, Disney princess. Favorite Disney princess of the other. So I have to. All right. Okay. Um, I don't think I know any. Huh? <laughs> 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 All right, I got mine. Okay, I got one. I don't have one yet. Hold on. My favorite Disney princess. I forgot her name. <laughs> um, what if I? Better go with you one just do the you movie that she was in. in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. Do I even know? Hmm. Okay, I'm just yeah. I can't think of her name. Okay, right favorite now. Disney princess. Okay, Shep, you go first. What would you say AJ's What's favorite is? Uh, for AJ, I went with uh, with Jasmine. Uh, Let's see it. What movie Wait, is that? that's for, that's, oh, that's yeah, from he, Aladdin. He was Aladdin. supposed to answer first. What's your favorite? My favorite. I don't have one to be honest with you. But I, yeah, yeah well, I went with Jasmine. Jasmine. I Jasmine thought maybe recency oh, bias. So cheap. Jasmine would be it. The Jasmine? Yeah, yeah. Oh, because with the new Aladdin? Yeah, with the new Aladdin. I thought maybe recency uh, bias, maybe. Yeah. Chip, what's, okay. what's your favorite? Uh, my favorite is Belle. I was wrong. What'd you got? What'd you got? I don't know if this is even a princess. <laughs> Cinderella. Oh, yeah, that's it a princess. Is. It totally is. Yeah, yeah I went with Belle with from Beauty and the Beast. All right. Okay. Yeah. She, she is still. the yellow dress. Beautiful. All right, what, what about you guys? I just feel bad because I should know her name. Harvey, what's your favorite Disney princess? Um, Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. I just don't want to sound like stereotypical or biased, but. but cliche. Yeah. Yeah, but she's Polynesian. But she's the only Polynesian princess. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Going? Oh, uh, Moana. Look at that. I don't know. Har and Mar. I, I can't think of the name of this one though. Okay. Okay, so so Lauren, what is your who is your favorite Disney? I'm gonna princess? go with I probably watched Little Mermaid the most. Dang it. What what? So you were Ariel. It was that or Frozen. I can't remember okay. her name though. Which one, the blonde or Anna or Elsa? 
<laughs> Elsa. He's got Why do I know this? Why do I know so much of this? <laughs> That's what I was trying to go with Elsa. <laughs> I don't know. Dang it. That's what, hey, but we got a point, so I'm going to go right, ahead. Fair enough. Far and large uh, got one point. Okay, next question. Favorite mm -hmm. restaurant in Provo? Mm. Favorite, Favorite restaurant, restaurant in Provo. Provo. Mm. All right. You'll never guess Harvey. He he doesn't have a favorite. He eats everything. <laughs> See, that's, AJ knows me too well. That's too no, hard. Dang, favorite come on. restaurant in Provo? Provo. I'm going to say uh, Provo. favorite restaurant in Provo. Hmm. All right, well, we're going to start. We're going to start with you guys this time. Okay. Let me. Okay, I got one. <laughs> Just put anything, man. <laughs> I'll eat anything, too, honestly. I like it all. Really, when you've lived here that long, yeah. you've kind of gone to all the places. You kind of Oh, I know yours. I know yours. Do you? Yes, I think so. When I was pregnant, it switched. I kind of swapped. Oh, okay. But the taste buds. I've gone back. Got tweaked a little bit, huh? I think I've gone back. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm going with it. <laughs> okay. I don't know what he's writing, but I'm going to go. <laughs> Mine is uh, 180 tacos. Oh, I would have gotten it wrong. I would have gotten it wrong, and I did. What did Burger, you say? Burger Supreme, Harvey. Yeah, it's a great place. Do I look like a burger girl? Mm. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay, no, so Harvey. It is a good place, though. What is your favorite Here. restaurant in no, Provo? Honestly, like AJ said, I've all of them. So whatever she has, <laughs> that's right. Throw one out there. Throw one out there. Um... Where would you take somebody coming here for the first time? To come? Oh, no, that's not in Provo. Um, I don't know. Think of the classic, what's the classic restaurant that, you know, really close to campus? Huh? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah, brick oven, for sure. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, cheating yeah. right no, there. No, I knew, I was helping him get there. Yeah, I'm that's called cheating. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give us a point. Go ahead. All right, AJ, what's your favorite restaurant in Provo? I'll probably say, I'll probably go with Sweeto Burrito. Oh, that is a good one. That's amazing. I, <clears throat> I went with Tacanos. So I guess it is in Provo. <laughs> well, but it's, it's, but it's Provo Orem. Like, it's, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm the vicinity is, I think, more. Yeah. You should have said. All right, what do you think Shep's is? I'll put Bam Bams. Oh, I do. Oh, oh I, that's good. I do love Bam Bams, but I think my answer would be Tacanos. Right. It would still be Tacanos. Yeah. You don't know this, but Shep is really picky. Oh, I'm a super oh, picky really? eater. Sure. Very picky eater. I am too. Really, guys, what we're saying here, I probably know Shep better. Than <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't have switched, yeah, but, but it's okay. It's all right. All right. I'm pretty picky, too. Favorite NBA team is the next one. Oh, I'd see, yeah. That's yeah. easy. Um. Come on, Har. If this isn't it, I'm going to be sad. <laughs> I'm going to see that again soon. <laughs> yes. Okay, this one should be the easiest for all of us. I know. Okay, mine is the Utah Jazz. What did you have for me? The Jazz. 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 Huh? Oh, yeah. Jazz. And I have Jazz for Harvey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oil. Okay. All right, my, my favorite team is the Jazz. Got it. Okay, got it. your favorite team? LeBron. That's, see, that's what, see, I put the oh, Lakers, oh, you got I put it. the Lakers and Boo, by the way, uh, but because I know he's such a huge LeBron guy, so that's why I went with the Lakers. Wherever LeBron goes, that's, that's I, I knew it. That's, that's my husband, too, and you know, I don't know how I feel I about that. I husband. I don't know how I feel about that. What if LeBron went to, like, Korea? I go there. What if LeBron came to the Jazz? Would that be the best of both worlds for you, where you live and LeBron? Oh, yeah. Get that'd season tickets. Oh, that'd sure. be amazing. Let's make that happen. Let's make yeah, that'll never happen, by the way. <laughs> All right, this is the very last question. The greatest boy band. Oh, that's easy. Great, greatest boy band. I mean, Harvey, I think. Greatest easy. boy band? Boy band. Yeah. I'm trying to think. This is a toss up. I'm gonna misspell this. Mine's too long to spell, so I'm abbreviating it. Okay. All right, AJ, what's your favorite? In sync. In sync. And we are wow. in sync. That's wow, what I'm talking about. That. Really? What's Shep, what's yours? Um, this may show a little bit of age. The best boy band is New Kids on the Block. I respect that. I didn't know. See, you were you're a weird generation. I don't <laughs> you, 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 there was like a 20. Year I, span we should have mentioned before that Shep is 10 years older than. Yeah. Hey, I, we I, don't need to go years. into that. Yeah, that's okay. Would you? Would you? I, I thought I just went with Backstreet Boys. Look, that's that's not a bad. That's not a bad option. That's not a bad option. New Kids on the Block is what you said. Yeah, New Kids on. They to me they are the original boy band. That. Did you have a mullet back in the no, day, Shep? No, I, my mom would not let me have a mullet or a rat tail. So. <laughs> Dang it. That's too bad. 
All right, mine, mine is Backstreet Boys. Let's say Backstreet Boys. Bam. What no, is that? Mean. What's okay. yours? Um, I'm old school as well, but I'm oh, not a on. new kids on the block kind of guy. Um, <laughs> not that old school. Probably Hanson. I, I feel like I know what you're going for. <laughs> I do like Hanson. Well, um, I like it. Um, no, I, I grew up more of like an R&B reggae guy, and I would say boys to men. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Look at you saw that? Did you see no. It? He really didn't. I was. I, I was. Them a boy I had it this way. Yeah, I don't know if I would consider them a boy band, but I they understand. They are. They're. They're really? like one of the. They were men. I feel like they were like the. They were men. Of I guess that's I true. Know. Look, no, we could have all boys. gone super old school and gone with like the Osmonds. You know, <laughs> the Osmonds are like yeah. like the Jackson Five. I mean, that's. I know a, a song that the Osmonds <laughs> sing. I don't either. I don't either. Don't tell Don. Donnie could be watching this right he now. He might be. Sorry, Donnie. Donnie follows me on Twitter. I hope he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Just follow me. We love you, Donnie. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here with us. We appreciate it. So after a short break at noon, we're going to come back. No, not noon. Is it noon, Chip? Uh, noon. That would be uh, yes. It is noon. Noon, noon mountain time. Right. We're going to come back, and we're going to be interviewing and playing some games with the players. So come back. Join us at noon. Thanks so much.